spot of suspension testing in the sand with KTEC because my races are coming up quite soon or meant to be if they don't keep getting cancelled. Not been good on the vlogging lately. Problem is, doing the same thing most weeks and I just think, oh, that'd be a shit vlog because no one's going to be interested. They've seen it all before, but I need to up my game. Um, your, um, your kit looks stripped today. This is my favourite kit, yeah, so I thought I'd put it on for the purpose of the vlog. Um, but we're going to go do some laps. Try and get my bike. It's really good, but I just want to make it... I want to feel more comfortable when I go into the first race at Link. I'll start this now. Sort of got a set up from what I'm happy with around Ed. We're going to start with that. Um, so I guess a base. See what we need to make. Improve and improve. Yeah. Michael says he's just waiting for you to warm up so you go a bit faster I and I said that's all we've got. I know why I'm coming for a long time now. It's f***ing hard work. <laughs> From Ed's to now, where I slowed everything up to get it to sit in the corner and roll through, this one, it goes down and it doesn't sort of recover through the stroke now, I think, because okay. I've slowed it down that much. Yeah. So then it sort of stays down it's and then pushes, away. yeah. Returns. But I think go through because it's quite low on the front even going into the turns swear if I'm flush there at edge like that yeah I probably think... open up the rebound will help that as well so you can do a combination too maybe not yeah. to drop the front through so much yeah. I've already been out and done a warm-up but have a um love-hate relationship with this place some races I do really good a couple of years ago I got lapped and then three months later I won um, so Today, I've done a warm up and it's hard work. Like, I don't know whether it's just getting harder because I'm getting older, but when I pulled on, I was like, this is going to be six, not too rough. Then I'd done a lap and was like, this is rough and already looking for the smooth lines. And I'm trying to tell myself, don't go on the smooth lines because you're meant to be testing suspension. So now I'm trying to hit the hard lines, um, go through the roughest sections because it's actually perfect to test as long as I do go through the rough lines and not take the easy route on the soft ones. Now I've got a bit of slow-mo for you, but it's also behind me, but when you were riding, when I was young and I jumped on a rough track, no problem, I'd send it. Now, when I jump on a rough track, it takes me a while to get used to it. And when you've got ruts like that behind, and you have to come through first lap, you feel like you're paddling round, you just think, what am I doing? <laughs> How are you going, Tom? Uh, don't know. It's hard to make improvements. It's always we wasn't at a bad place to start, so to try and improve from that's quite difficult. We're just trying different things. We've gone one way, now we're going the other way. See where we can um, see what's better. Make some gains. All right, I've got my different lens on. That's why I'm a bit close. But long day, half two. Not really a great day up until this point. We've don't know trying to get more feeling with the bike it wasn't bad to start with so I think I've I think I've probably gone the wrong way going harder now we're going the other way to go a little bit softer and it'll be a bit more supple so um, tracks not easy either so every time I keep stop start and going out it takes me a while to get into it get cross right and then that really winds me up and it sort of get off to a bad start because pull on the track cold and then I go through a section like I showed you earlier on camera there's like four of those five of those probably get cross rutted nearly jumped off the track one time and I just thought automatically in my head I'm like it's fucking shit when actually I didn't really give the change a chance so I almost gave up this vlog as well because I was getting wound up halfway through the day you know I just sacked the camera off it was flat as well struggle it's been quite a tough whole day mentally these boys Michael and Lee have been troopers though, they've not got angry with me. 
if it was me I'd have, and I was doing the same job as them today, I'd have probably just said, just ride your bike, mate, and stop moaning. But they've been good. One little section. Oh. How's your day been, Thomas? <laughs> like Long. This. Like a roller coaster, eh? I thought I've sacked the vlog off three times today. How's my day been? How's Michael's? I don't know. If I was you two, I said actually earlier on in the camera, to the camera, that if I was you two, I'd have been really f***ed off with me today. No. I'd have been like useless old man. Give people. up because the bike's not a magic carpet. There is Ow. bumps on the track, but yeah, it's been a roller coaster day. I give up vlogging twice. Um, nearly give up motocross once. Uh, but you're back, but mate. now I'm back, baby. So He's the happy. clips earlier in the vlog have probably been terrible. So I'm gonna finish the day, do a little bit of riding, get Lee to get some clips, and that's it. Do your best, Lee. <laughs> Well, I thought I've burnt almost five gallons or five litres. Five gallons. Yeah, a bit thick even that, saying that. But, um, and I hadn't really put no laps together, so end of the day I wanted to put some laps together. You put some effort in there. The first lap was a bit like an AMCA Junior or weren't like, but then you turned around oh, and you, you shook your head a bit. <laughs> but at the beginning of the day I felt horrendous, and then it got worse. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. And now I'm smiling in my helmet, just going, you the man, sending it. Um, I feel like a bit of self-love, isn't it? Yeah, I, honestly, when I feel good, the problem is now, I have to keep, I have to do something good to then think, oh, I am all right on a bike. Easy for my confidence to dip. Again, I think I haven't rode conditions like this for so long. It makes a big difference. You can't rush a good job. No, anyway. And at your we age. We improved that much with the soft, going softer, huge difference wasn't yeah, it big time we started the day i've been going harder so we went harder and it was getting worse and then and then all of a sudden at the end we was like well let's try going softer and we did and it's been better so it's um been worthwhile definitely all right i'm gonna shoot up to see my man ted it's in a minute right so i've shot off from fat cats because just up the road about 20 minutes um teddy who I went and seen in hospital, who has cancer, is having a little ride there to raise a bit of money um, for him. Did put it on my Instagram a few weeks back, went to visit him, but unfortunately it's got a little bit worse. So we'll come up to see Teddy. He's on his little bike, he's just here. How are you, mate? So you're, you're on the vlog, look. You can watch this on Monday. It's a nice bike, isn't it? That's good. Do you want to do some riding? Right. He's flat out. <laughs> He's missing his big bike, isn't he? Yeah, missing it quite a lot at the minute. We got the sticker on there that I gave you in hospital. Good man. He's not a good man. He's not charged your battery, mate. You're one day out to the track. One job. One job. One job. But no, what were we saying before? So we got a yeah. nice day out here to raise a little bit of money for Ted. Yeah, um, for potential treatment. If not, it'll all go to a good course. Yeah, of course. He and just wants got. to ride, bless He's him. He's drunk enough. One's flat, Callum's coming. Save the day. Can you get on it? Can you touch the, fl can you touch the floor on this one? Yeah, you all right? Go on then. Push. Yeah. Feet up, feet up, feet up. 
Is that first bike in how long? Eight, eight months. Yeah, about eight, seven, eight months now. Since that. he started his treatment. Yeah, brilliant. I did say as soon as you see his little face <laughs> light up, I went, yeah, I am having a little go. <laughs> oh. No, but that's mega. I think my battery's going to go flat, so I'll do a little bit more to the camera, but I'll put a link up and any help would be greatly appreciated, wouldn't it? Thank you. Perfect. Cheers, guys. Well done, Ted! Was that good, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Good, lad. Yeah. Right, I don't know what footage you got and what not got. I've managed to put the battery on charge for just a minute and get a little bit more, but um, yeah, it's not bad. I've managed to put the battery on charge for just a minute and get a little bit more, but shout out to Common Farm MX as well because they've put the day on free of charge and all the money raised has gone to Ted. So, um, not a bad day. Today we're on our way down to Flatwell Heath to test the race bike, but it's not stopped raining the whole way. But my mate's just arrived there now and he says, um, you reckon it's all right? Just a little bit of spin. So we're, fingers crossed, we're gonna ride the race bike in a minute. But as I said, we have drove through hail, torrential rain. So if it is dry down there, then Flatwell Heath is the only dry place in England, which means um, we're off to a good start. Yeah, hope there's light at the end of the tunnel. You said come down, tracks min. Typical track owner. Uh, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. It's um, they had Matt Hatchins from Evotech. He's come up with the race bike. Can't, got even, lead. can't even have a piss. It's too wet. Put the chandelier on. on. Hang on. There we go. Chandeliers on. For Chandeliers the on. Um, yeah, two and a half hours down here to um, sit in a van and uh, not ride the race bike. Happy days. He must, he's going to dry up in a minute. He must have been hopeful because he's got his bike in as well. Has he? Yeah, and he said it'll be right. He let us out. I'm not paying the 400 quid. <laughs> I'm not. Open the gates. Thanks, Tex, mate. It's dry down here. I do here. it 350. <laughs> 350. 350, last offer. <laughs> Quick go, go, go. 350 or it comes to it, mate. <laughs>